Hello and welcome to Beyond the Launch. I am your host, Attorney LaConya Murray. How are you all doing this Friday? Everybody keeps telling me to have a great weekend. I'm like, oh yeah, it is Friday. Been working so hard, being productive, not just being busy. I just got the phone with someone and I was really trying to be intentional with my words. They asked me how I've been, you know, and my first thought was, you know, man, I've been busy. Um, but that's not what I wanted to say. So I said, um, been working on being profitable, you know, being profitable because words matter, right? You can be busy and be broke and I'm not trying to be busy and broke. I'm trying to be profitable. So words matter. The thing we're going to talk about are trademarks. I was preparing something like a, I don't even know what it was, but the first thing we want, like I said, trademark. So listen, listen, people are always asking me, Hey, they're saying, Hey Jacqueline, they always say attorney Murray. What's this TM? Should I be using this TM? Do I need to use this R once I get registered? Like, why do I have to? What are these symbols? What do they mean? So we're going to talk about those symbols and why you have to use them if you plan on um, alleging that anybody is infringing on your, your, your trademark. Hey, Sandra, how you doing? How you doing? So first of all, that TM symbol, it stands for trademark. You can use that TM symbol even if you don't have a registered trademark and especially if you're going through the registration process. What that thing does, what that does is give you notice. It gives people notice that this is a trademark. You can't be mad at somebody for infringing on your trademark if they didn't know it was a trademark in the first place, right? So let them know, especially if you don't have a federally registered trademark, you want to let them know that you are, that you see this and view this mark as a common law trademark and remember the moment you start the moment you um, have a, a brand identifier something that indicates the source of a good or a service then you have a trademark right it just matter it, it's a difference of whether or not you have something that just can be enforced in your state or in a certain regional area or something that can be enforced federally so the registered trademark, so once you go through the process and you get that certificate, you get that certificate, then you change that TM to an R. And here's, here's the catch. Whether you have a common law trademark or a federally registered trademark, if you don't provide notice that you do have a trademark, that this is a trademark, you cannot file a suit. You have to give them notice. You cannot file a suit for infringement without providing notice. So what is everybody going to do when they leave here today. Maybe you're already watching this. You're like, oh, let me go ahead and hit my designer up so I can start using my TM and my R's. Do that. All right. Do that. Any questions about that? Can we get ready to the next time? Peace.